She hurt herself before the video. Turn me on these stupid bank money! On these stupid handles! Hi guys! Oh, <laughs> this is my video. Hijack somebody else. <laughs> Hello, everybody. YouTube. This is Ashlyn's first debut on my channel. I feel like I'm taking off the screen. You're not. Oh no, you're not. <laughs> you're gonna get it you're really, really not. Well, I don't want to bang money. <laughs> So Ashlyn is going to be joining me today because I have a problem. I don't know what I want to read after I finish Red Rising. I'm on the fifth novel, but apart from that, I don't really know where to go. So she's going to help me. I did a poll and you guys overwhelmingly decided that she was going to pick what I read. And what we have here is a nice to be read cup jar thing <laughs> full of a lot of my suggestions and a lot of her suggestions. I stole from her suggestions because she has some fun ones. I went to chat GPT, believe it or not, to get ideas. Did you know that thing just recycles its own ideas? <laughs> it just rephrases them. How many times can you tell me, pick a book in a genre you don't typically read? Pick a book that's, <laughs> that's not in your typical genre. Pick a book that's out of your comfort zone. Pick a book that's not what you usually read. So don't use chat GPT, it's useless. It does not replace Ashlyn's amazing ideas and I, I, had, to, I had to come up with a lot of my own. I <laughs> took a lot of those from chat GPT. <laughs> I'm just being honest. <laughs> we do have a few books here and I will show you the options that she can pick from. And if she wants to disregard any of these and go to her shelf, and write, she can do whatever she wants. Really? Yes, but no. Okay. <laughs> I so, threw you first. So the first one we have is Storm of Swords by George R. R. Martin. I've been told by several people that this is, this is the greatest fantasy book ever written, so I need to get into it. I've not read it yet. <laughs> Next is Empire of Silence. This is the first in the Sun Eater series. This is supposed to be incredible science fiction, kind of with a fantasy twist, so I am very, very excited. Very, very excited. Both of those are good, by the way. This is a book that I have tried and tried again to read, and I want to conquer it. And if it's not this month, that's okay. But if it is this month, Great. I will do it. I will do it. And that is Dead House Freaking Gates. This is the second book in the 10 book epic series, Malazan Book of the Fallen. Book of the Fallen. If you pick this, it's okay. <laughs> okay. I will not be mad. Okay. Yeah. Next, something from Ashlyn's bookshelf. This is Fury Reborn. If you have not seen her video where her and I just kind of did like a fun book shopping day, this is one of the books that she picked up. Looking back on my Goodreads, this has been on there for like a year. Uh, and I completely forgot about it until she picked it up and I thought, good, opp good opportunity. Good opportunity, yeah, to get into it. I know it's a trilogy. It sounds fun. Next, we have Woo! the rest of the Akatar series. I, I need to finish these two books. I, I only read those first three. I know some of you may slaughter me in the comments, but I thought it could have ended there and I'd been I'd have been happy. It was just it was a good ending, but there's but no. there's more that needs to be said. Honestly, you can pick these together. Yeah, I you, would. If you so wish. They don't okay. have to they they count as a single book for me. Like you're gonna skip yeah. like half of it. I'm gonna skip half of it because we don't like that sexy saying not Miss Christian household. Next is the finale to a duology that I started with our first book swap. She had me read Six of Crows. Oh, wow. And I love it, yeah. so I need to get into Crooked Kingdom. So yeah, that, that's a great option as well. Next, we have the number four in The Dark Tower. This is Wizard and Glass. This is probably the more controversial books. I've heard in the series. I want to get into Wizard and Glass because he's absolutely blown me away. This was my introduction to Stephen King. He's blown me away with Dark Tower, so I need to keep going. Next is a fiction that I've had on my shelf for a while. Now, the only reason I know anything about this is because I've seen the movie, and I know the movie's probably nothing really like the book, but we're gonna give American Psycho his chance, finally. I know most people probably save this for Halloween, but this doesn't seem like a creepy book. It just seems more like an intense book. Yeah. I'm not, how about this? I'm not a seasonal reader. Yeah. I'm not a seasonal reader, so I don't care when I read a book like this. This has been on the shelf for a couple months now, and I kind of want to get into it. Next is a book that's pretty much in the same boat, Cloud Cuckoo Land. I really don't even know what this book is about. I know it follows like four different POVs across like 2,000 years, uh, so I'm very intrigued to see what the cloud and the cuckoo and the land is. Next is a, a recent purchase, Foundry Side. This is the first book in a trilogy also called Foundry Side. It is a science fiction mashup with magic. Some of the booktubers that I watch have actually read this and deemed it worthy of at least four stars. Some people said it was really, really, really fun. I read the first like two or three pages and was blown away by how already sarcastic and witty the main character is. Her voice is really fun. 
So I feel like she's gonna entertain me a lot. Next is Jade, Jade War. War. This is the second installment in a trilogy called The Green Bone Saga. The first one is called Jade City. If you haven't seen the past few videos on my channel or Ashton's channel, you would know that I'm, I, I wanna get into this book. And then last, but certainly not least, The Pariah. When I started going to Barnes & Noble often, this was the first book that I saw that piqued my interest. And so I finally have it in my grasp. And this is a part of a trilogy. I actually have a second book on the shelf, believe it or not. I've never read this one, but I own the second one. Um, but yes, so the third book of this comes out pretty much around the same time as Pierce Brown's yeah, sixth yeah. Red Rising novel. So I'd like to read this, possibly its sequel next month, to see if I really want the third one. And that's what we have. Now, that doesn't mean that these are the only options, because they're definitely not the only options. But let's see where we go, shall we? Yeah. All right, Beagle. First prompt. You ain't ready for this. Okay, first one, a book over 500 pages, which is freaking most of these. I already have my answer, The Pariah, because yes. You just got this and like you're so excited about it, especially with the new book coming out and like you said, you yeah. don't know if you want to get it. I think it would be great to get to know like this world and yeah. this author. And then if you do love this stuff, then you can get his new book. Or I can get it for you as a surprise. You're so sweet. That'd be so fun. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Woo! Pariah, what a strong start. Next problem, how many should I pick? I know my limit, four or five. Yeah. So next one. Oh crap. What, 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 what? The next one is your wife's favorite rom-com. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> This is the best day ever. <laughs> okay, 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 Beagle. This is what I have for you. I have two that I'm between, okay? Okay. The the first one, can you take a guess? Love hypothesis. The love hypothesis? <laughs> So good. And the fact that I can actually have an excuse for you to read it. Yeah, that's true. There's an excuse right there. So, and then the next one is actually the in Honeymooners. This one would make you laugh. Yes. It's so funny. It's like a rom-com that we would watch. Okay, and now I'm kind of peaked. See, the banter in this is so good. It's too good. It's funny. It's okay. hilarious. But, I'm all about good banter and dialogue. But the love hypothesis is so good. It's so cute. Stop. It's so cute. It's not as funny as the honeymooners. I feel like you're gonna give me that on honeymooners. I know, but the love hypothesis, I, like, it's it's one of my favorite books. Oh, I know. It's so good. So how could I do that? I'm betraying myself. This is my opportunity. There's gonna be more opportunities. But there's gonna be book swap genres. Ooh, Ooh see, where you can give wait, me nothing. That's a good idea. You can give me nothing but rom com then, and I can give you nothing but. That'd be funny. Oh, this hurts. This actually physically hurts. Oh. Oh. She'll get her day in the sun. I'll give Miss Allie Hazelwood her due. Olive and Adam, though. <laughs> okay, it's funny because her name's Olive as well. Perfect, so I'm not betraying any Olive. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give you the Honeymooners because this is also very summery. Yeah. It's so funny. I think you're gonna love it okay. because the banter is so good. so good. I have been laughing out loud. A sad book. That could be uh, any of these. Oh, dude, I don't want to bring it to you. Okay, dude, here we go, bro. These are the ones I know for sure. I've heard Crooked Kingdom is sad. And I've read Silver Flames and it's sad. I cried. I like it. But if I read this, I have to read the other one as well. You I've not, do. I've not read Frost and Starlight yet, so I, if I do Silver Flames, I need to do, commit to both. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, if you want to do that. I need to finish the freaking series anyway. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. These are the ones I know for sure. Silver Flames. Okay. And then Frost and Starlight because it's a novella, so. Wow. And it gets lumped in automatically. I guess we'll do two more prompts. A standalone fiction book. Okay. we got plenty of them lying around. We do. So I am between these two. I Even when you showed these, I'm like, I want to do one of these because you have talked about reading this one because of the movie. Yeah, yeah. But this one would like stretch you a little yeah, bit. it would stretch me. But I want you to read something that guaranteed love this one. I'm thinking this one. I think no matter what, you're gonna like this. Cool. And it's shorter, so. Yes, it is. So, American Psycho is the one I'm picking. Bookstagram choose, no. We don't have Bookstagram, so we're not even gonna, <laughs> not even consider them. A book written by a female author you've never read before. There's only one female on this table that I haven't read. I don't care if freaking Dead House Gates falls off and breaks its spine. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, Furyborn is the one we're gonna have to go with. This is like a cosmic war. Oh yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it takes place over a millennia, I think. <laughs> it's crazy. There's two stories that intersect and it, sound, it sounds so good. It's funny, this is actually my book. And I haven't read it yet and he's gonna read it before. 
for me. That's crazy. That happens. All right. So, Ashlyn, Kaylee, BBBs. What do you have for me? I have Fury Born, American Cycle, a Court of Silver Flames, a Court of Frost and Starlight, the Unhoneymooners, <laughs> Pariah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know how people say, like, does this look good on everyone, or is this person just pretty? Is this a good book, or is it just because it's published by Orbit? That's the million dollar question for all book lovers. If you're into <laughs> fantasy and sci science fiction, Orbit rules the world. It does. They make a very good product, but it they does. are expensive. So how do you feel? I feel good. This is going to stretch me as a reader because that's what I want. It's, it's going to do that for sure. Get ready. There may be some vlogs involved with this. Let me know. <gasps> so I'm excited. Well, thanks for having me. Thanks for being on. Guys, thank you so much for being here. We love you so much. We hit 2,000. You guys made this channel hit 2,000 in less than two weeks. I, I posted my first video coming up tomorrow, two weeks ago. That's crazy. And you guys really shown up. So I, I cannot thank you enough. I didn't think the community would take to this kind of stuff this fast, but you guys are changing our lives. You really are. And I'm so excited to be doing this. Thank you for coming along. See you guys later.